Tennessee's Democratic delegates are among the first in the country to formally endorse Vice President Kamala Harris for President of the United States, though it's not yet certain she will be the Democratic nominee. It comes after President Biden announced he is stepping down from the presidential campaign yesterday. State Capitol reporter Tori Gessner explains why Tennessee's Democratic delegates didn't wait to endorse Harris. It's a bold endorsement ahead of the official nomination, but DNC party leader elected official delegate Frida Player of Nashville says Vice President Kamala Harris is qualified to be the president of the United States. She's held local, state, federal offices. She's been vetted. She's run before. Um, she knows what it takes to run in the White House. She actually works in the White House, um, so she has the experience. Tennessee's Democratic delegates officially backed Vice President Harris as president during a call yesterday afternoon, which was planned before President Joe Biden announced he won't be running for a second term. During the call, Biden endorsed Harris to take his spot, and Tennessee's 70-plus Democratic delegates followed suit, among the first in the country to do so. We were excited that it brought new energy. We knew what energy was going to bring to young people. Um, and to uh, new voters and current voters who've been, you know, apathetic. But in an open convention, the Democratic spot on the ticket could be anyone's game. While it's possible another candidate could try to challenge Harris for the nomination, Player argues it's much easier to transfer the majority of the Biden infrastructure to the Harris campaign. The decision didn't come without lively discussion and a lot of thought. Hendrell Remus, chair of the Tennessee Democratic Party, says a lot of delegates were worried about the process of choosing a new nominee after Biden backed out, but they ultimately agreed Harris would be the best person for the party and Tennessee. With a Republican supermajority in Tennessee, uh, having a strong Democratic administration in the White House, having uh, Democrats in charge in Congress uh, is our only real hope for getting something done for the folks here in Tennessee who need relief uh, so much. Tennessee Republicans believe the opposite. Senator Marsha Blackburn arguing Harris as president will bring, quote, the same old Biden-Harris policies that have made the lives of hardworking Americans more difficult. Both she and Tennessee Senator Bill Haggerty say if Biden isn't fit to run for re-election, he's not fit to be president, calling on him to resign immediately. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Tori Gessner. Now, the chair of the Tennessee Democratic Party says he plans to ask the state Democratic Executive Committee to formally endorse Vice President Harris as president during their meeting later this week in Nashville. For more reaction on President Biden's decision and the updates on the Democratic Party's nominee, you can visit our website, WKRN.com.